Hello, everyone. Welcome to Yachting International Radio. You're with Kareen Rayson from The Crew Coach. Today, we're going to talk about how you can become a 21st century leader. And with <laughs> us today, I have Jules. And Jules is a purser, and she's got experience as a chief steward as well. She's been on the advanced leadership course now for almost three months. And I'm very curious to hear from Jules and her insights and her growth spurts throughout the course. But before I do, I just want to welcome you, Jules. Thank you so much for coming on to the show. Mm, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. <laughs> Where did it all begin for you? Like, why did you decide to take this course? Um, so it, it naturally led on from my PERSA course that I did with um, Sandra, um, the yacht PERSA. And um, I have been interested in this kind of growth, personal growth and work for a very long time. So it felt like a very natural um, uh, step for me to take. And also just very grateful that you have created this platform and this course to help me in my um, current role, um, which is challenging and um, which, which needs someone who is, has leadership as a strength, you know, and knows how to lead people in a way, especially on boats, that is effective and builds rather than breaks down. So I think that's, that's one of the things that is so um, helpful and so uh, supportive um, about your course and and it's come at exactly the right time for me in my career so it's been great it's been <laughs> so what do you think are the power tools in terms of becoming a competent leader because obviously the nature of yachting it's very hierarchical and you can climb up the ranks without doing a leadership course specifically so now that you are at the pinnacle of your career, what do you think are the must-have tools as a, a leader? Sure. Um, I, think, um, I think obviously the foundation that I've taken from your course and from, from work that I've done is knowing who you are as a person and knowing... Um, knowing what you're trying to achieve and then also being able to the biggest learning and growth for me over the last sort of seven years in this industry has been figuring out or trying to separate myself in an individual capacity and then one in a leadership role like on board a boat mm -hmm. so um, for me for example uh, my relationships with other people like are very important and that connection and friendship and, and learning how to separate sort of friendship from leading a team where you're living, working and breathing the same air as them. So it's that discrepancy for me has been difficult to kind of overcome. Um, so I'd say learning how to wear different hats mm. um, is one of the fundamentals of leading a team on board a boat. Um, having clear objectives, so knowing exactly what you're all working towards and then communicating that with your team so that everyone's on the same page. Um, yeah, uh, knowing, knowing what your team need from you. Some, some, some girls I've worked with want freedom to run their own day and some need a defined list of exactly what they need to get through. So knowing your team individually and what, how everyone needs to kind of be communicated with. Um, and then uh, having, I guess, management and a captain who are very clear about their values. So what's important to the boat? Um, because if the captain's values are very different to the, to the head of departments is, and the head of department isn't clear about, you know, what they're supposed to be following on board, for example, is is safety a priority, is structure a priority, is, um, you know, um, just uh, just having a clear, a clear idea of what the boat's working towards from the top 
I find is is important and um, and obviously being an effective leader helps to communicate that to everyone and then everyone can work more collaboratively and cohesively together as a team yeah and I know like with the students during this course there's a lot of different aspects we touch on and the feedback from the students are like oh I've never had a performance appraisal done on me or I've never delivered yeah. or never spoken about culture and values and vision and mission and all of those different aspects and it's it's probably something we do very much land-based and that is what's missing in yachting is that we don't have an HR department and we operate in a silo per se because it's a very isolating industry and we've got to see ourselves as mini organizations there's someone at the top like a CEO for example and then you've got a team beneath you and you need the communication there in order for the collaboration to happen what were your expectations of the course when you heard leadership course what did you think you were going to learn <laughs> Well, um, I, the, I think what I had hoped to get from the course is skill, a skill set to be able to more naturally handle um, conflict um, and, and be able to have sort of, I call them hard conversations, um, or uncomfortable conversations. Um, for me specifically, because I, I have struggled to tell people what to do or give them work lists because I'm scared that they won't be my friend like it's it's a personal issue that I've had so it's it always has sat like uh, hasn't sat well with me um, and I haven't felt like I've had the training or guidance to uh, be able to effectively have those conversations without feeling like I'm compromising who I am so my um, my hope um, from this course was to become someone who could comfortably, with ease, lead a team, inspire, motivate, and ultimately create create um, make my life better and happier, and and to um, to create a a comfortable, happy, fun, infectious environment on board. The program that I'm on because it's kind of um when I stepped into it it was um it was there were there was a lot of stuff going on and lots of trust issues and 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 a lot of stuff going on in the boat so you know I felt very um under trained and and under skilled in terms of having to repair build and grow on the foundation that had already been laid which was not strong so yeah that's so to to sum it up just to become a better communicator and and to feel more comfortable in doing that okay amazing and then with mm -hmm. <laughs> learning so much in the course is there something in particular that excites you about implementing on board oh absolutely i think um i, I think i see so much value in the different sort of tools that that uh, you are teaching us and have taught us in terms of um, how to structure conversations, um, how to listen effectively. And this is something that all, I think all HODs and uh, department heads and crew could learn um, to do better. Um, and I'm excited to, I'm excited to run value workshops on board um it's it's an interesting one because um you've got to get everyone's buy-in to to kind of do the workshop unless the captain makes it mandatory which is probably going to have to be the case <laughs> but, but but i know that uh, that uh despite this despite this not being of interest to most crew members i think after running these kind of workshops on board the value um they would be able to see what value they had and the fact that management are also trying to create uh, a, a 
an amazing environment for everybody and like this and align goals I think um, anyone in, would want to buy into that kind of culture mm. um, yeah personally but I so I'm excited to do workshops um, I've done some um, surveys with the crew for my oh. personal growth oh yeah for <laughs> research inquiry yeah, yeah, research That's inquiries. I to ask you about that, like, <laughs> live, because we haven't had an opportunity to discuss it. I'm like, oh, I wonder if I should ask her. I'm, oh, go for it. <laughs> yeah, what have you learned from your research inquiry? Well, I think one of the most uh, sort of pleasing sides to the, in, the research inquiry was, was knowing that the crew felt very comfortable to talk to me um so that was some of the feedback that I got um and that they they felt safe obviously to do that if they were going through some um uh or had had some problems that they wanted to talk about um I did have one or two surprising uh things that were surprising to me um and um what like one of the crew said that I um I don't talk enough about crew issues or crew problems. Um, and then another surprising one, or well, not surprising maybe, but I, uh, one of the crew wanted to mo know more about what a person did. So maybe it was more just an, an, an intriguing um, question. So, so I thought it was valuable in many ways because I, I unless you ask, a question you don't really know how people feel about you or what impact you're having on them so I found it hugely valuable and even though I felt very vulnerable um asking those questions and before I sent it I think I like my like my face flashed and I was feeling all hot and nervous and <laughs> like worried about what people are going to say but but I think fundamentally the growth that you can get from getting feedback from everyone is to me is worth it. So it, yeah. <laughs> so did the crew ask you, oh, what what's this for? Like why are you asking these questions? Did they show interest? Or were they surprised that you're even asking for feedback? Because it's rare um industry industry leaders ask for feedback. It's normally very one-sided, like the leader getting yeah. Well, it was it was taken really well. I had um, I think one or two crew members surprised me, and they, they by saying, oh, "I really want to take the time to to answer this honestly and to give you like honest feedback." And um, I think what helped what helped is you know I, I messaged the crew and I sent them the link to my anonymous um, Google quiz, and I just said. Um, I won't know who's written these answers and you know I think that's a huge part of it knowing that they feel safe to be honest with you um yeah and then obviously I was re reiterated the fact that it's um it's for my course and that it's um that I, I genuinely as a leader want to grow and learn mm -hmm. um more about how how I am coming across and how I would like to be a better crew member um in general and just be able to create a specific kind of environment it's very important for me to have a positive impact on everyone around me so yeah just making sure that there isn't anything that I can improve on to continue to reach that that goal of being a an effective crew member and someone who contributes in many ways not like to mental health but also to efficiency and effectiveness and to like the overall goal of the boat, which is to, um, to provide the owners with uh, sort of um, knowing that their boat's being looked after and run effectively and the high value asset is, is in good hands. So with that responsibility, also having like a positive impact on everyone around me. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm so pleased that it went well and it sounds like the crew really appreciated you asking them I think that that would make them certainly feel valued I know that I've 
worked in organizations where I felt like I didn't have a voice and felt suppressed and I was dying to share or ask questions. Oh, look who's coming to the room. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see if Dustin wants to come on Yachting International Radio. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I think yeah just a great way to end off and I know it takes a lot of courage to be a leader and that's what you've certainly demonstrated and I have thoroughly enjoyed my <laughs> assessments that you've submitted so far you go into great depth and detail and yeah I, I don't think many people do but when you do put that amount of effort and energy in obviously the outcome is going to be a lot bigger so well done for that thank you so much Corrine <laughs> My pleasure. thank you for your time it's been fun Hi everyone, Kareem from The Crew Coach here. If you are interested in the accredited Guest I Army Advanced Leadership course, do get in touch as the places fill up very quickly. You can contact me at kareen at thecrewcoach.com, that's K-A-R-I-N-E, or you can find me on social media, Facebook and Instagram. Send me a DM and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Take care, bye.